This is me at 18 years old. I've just decided to become an engineer. There's just one problem. Which type of engineering should I choose? There are so many different types out there. Mechanical engineering, electrical engineering, software engineering, chemical engineering, industrial engineering, civil engineering. With no clear handbook for how to choose my engineering major, I did the next best thing, which was to wing it and just choose one. No! This is me now, at 27. I am on a mission to stop this. So I carefully devised a simple three-step plan. First, I needed to clone myself five times. Second, I needed to make each clone become a different type of engineer. And third, I needed to travel back in time with all my clones and teach my younger self what I had learned. Which brings me back to this moment. Oh, no! This is an intervention. I'm future you as a mechanical engineer. You'll meet the others later. But there's no time to explain. All you need to know is that we're helping you figure out the right type of engineering for you. So you better pay close attention. And I'll start with mechanical engineering. Mechanical engineering is one of the broadest types of engineering, which is why there's hardly ever a situation where we don't feel compelled to say, trust me, I'm an engineer. If you liked physics in high school, this is the type of engineering that'll come closest to it. You'll learn a lot about all different kinds of physics like mechanics, fluid mechanics, thermodynamics, and electrical science. You'll also learn some basics of computer science, robotics, material science, and production technology, especially focus on metals and metal processing. There are many sub-disciplines of mechanical engineering, like aerospace engineering, robotics, and biomedical engineering. Some universities offer these as specialized study programs, but unless you're dead set on one of these, I recommend you just start with a general mechanical engineering degree and specialize later. My time here is running out. Just remember to always appreciate things that move and always, always carry duct tape with you. She's all yours. Gotcha. If engineering and business had a baby, it would be called industrial engineering. Hi, nice to meet you. Time is money. As I was saying, industrial engineering is like a mashup between engineering and different business disciplines, which also means we're the cool ones among the engineers. Among the engineers. We are the cool ones of the nerds, if you will. To make this time efficient, I've prepared a PowerPoint presentation. The engineering side of industrial engineering is typically focused on mechanical engineering, although there are also some programs that combine business with other engineering disciplines like software engineering or chemical engineering. The business side includes economics, management, quality management, manufacturing, logistics, and production planning. Some people might say industrial engineering is not real engineering, and to those haters you say, your project is unfortunately over budget and therefore declined. Get it? Because you'll be their boss. Joking. A little bit. Okay, there is some truth to the statement. Because you learn both engineering and business, you obviously can't go as much into detail as you otherwise would. But you'll be really valuable in positions where you need to connect the two. So it all depends on what you want. If you want to be an engineer, you want to create your own designs, you want to learn all the basics of math and physics behind it, then don't do industrial engineering. Instead, do a full-on engineering degree and read this book for a basic understanding of business. But if you see yourself as this person that can sit at the interface of engineering and business, and you don't really want to specialize in either field, it's the combination of the two that really excites you, then go do industrial engineering. Now I gotta let you go. I gotta take this. Just remember. You may wear a hard hat from time to time, but you always, always keep on your suit. Yeah? I'm up here. I prefer to always keep an overview, you know? As a civil engineer, I spend a lot of time on construction sites because I design civil structures like buildings, bridges, and tunnels. And I need to make sure my designs are being built the right way. 
Fun fact, the word civil engineer was first used in the year 1750 to differentiate engineers working on civil projects from military engineers working on armaments and defenses. Okay, you don't need to remember that, but you should know this. Compared to mechanic engineering, where things are usually supposed to move, in civil engineering, things are usually not supposed to move. That's why some people may say that civil engineering is easier than other types of engineering. And yeah, the math and physics you need for things that move is a little more complex than the math you need for buildings that don't move, hopefully. But civil engineering still has its challenges. For example, we need to know a lot about material science, land development, and the rules and regulations surrounding building construction. And humans. Any idiot can use what we design. So we always need to account for human behavior. And we have a lot of responsibility. We literally shape the world we live in. All right, we're done here. You can go there next. Just make sure to knock. And remember, always stay safe on site and don't forget the humans in your equations. been expecting you. So you want to learn about software engineering? Software engineering is a systemic approach to software development. It is not the same as coding. Coding is a part of software engineering, but there's also a lot of math, software architecture, and algorithms. Do you have what it takes to become a software engineer? Can you stare at a computer screen for hours and hours? and hours. I'm not joking. Software engineering is not like the other types of engineering because you're not designing physical products, you're making software. Now here are some useful sentences for your future as a software engineer. I recommend to keep them handy at all times. It worked yesterday. It works fine on my computer. It's not a bug, it's a feature. It's never done that before. Is the network cable plugged in? And my personal favorite, have you tried turning it off and on again? Thank you for your attention. You may go now. Over here. Sorry, hi. I'm just setting up the network. I'm an electrical engineer, yeah. Electrical engineering is all about equipment, devices, and systems that use electricity, electronics, and electromagnetism. So things like computers, cars, planes, phones, and pretty much everything in your home that runs on electricity. But we also design the electrical networks that run through your home and pretty much all other buildings. Yeah, you do need a lot of math and logic. It's probably the most math intensive type of engineering you can study, but don't tell chemical engineering I said that. And unlike disciplines like mechanical engineering where you can really see the things you're working with, you can't really see electrons move through a wire. So you need to be able to deal with the abstract, but it's also really cool what you can do with it. We literally have the world power. <laughs> this is not what chemical engineering is like most of the time, but it looks better for the video. Chemical engineers design and develop chemical manufacturing processes. You obviously should be interested in chemistry, but you'll also need to apply physics principles like heat transfer, mass transfer, and fluid dynamics. And you'll also need quite a bit of mass to be able to work on chemical formulas, model the transfer of heat and mass, and simulate chemical processes. As a chemical engineer, you will most likely work in an office, in a lab, or a mix of the two. And depending on the industry, you could also be spending your time in industrial plants or refineries. Come, it is time.
time has come to choose your own destiny, to pick the engineering discipline that has captured your heart like concrete this steel. <clears throat> okay, so which type of engineering do you choose? I choose electrical engineering. Sorry, my button just broke. Well, you have made your choice. Congratulations. It's time for us to go. Good luck. If you're still not sure what kind of engineering is right for you, I've created an online quiz. You can take it on my website, freshengineer.io, which is also linked down below. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye. <laughs> Let's go.